Out the double doors, cuz in the six four. Child was hitting switches on these niggas back in '94. Basketball practice, and after that, I'm back to selling dope. When the cops hit the ab, I done made a rack off of my pager though. When the wop hit my box, I'ma hit him back. I'm on the payphone. My shoebox getting full, I need to go buy me a safe for real. It's treacherous outside, not supposed to have it, but I paid for it. A brand new out the box, Tully on me while I'm trapped. And I hope I ain't gotta go use it, but I know how shit tend to happen. And plus, if you like insurance, it was good, you know. Know who it is? It's the Mafia. It's time for that culture for the streets, hosted by Mafia and Paint. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and extra ding that notification bell, man. The trap always open, and don't leave up out the trap till you've been served. And we serving niggas every day, just like that. Anyway, I just want to update up on this Quando Rondo shit. When I went live yesterday and made a video about it. There were some things that need to be touched up on. For one, they were saying Quando Rondo was shot as well as his homie Lil Pop. Comes to find out Quando didn't get shot. In the video, you can clearly see Quando didn't get shot. He's sitting there watching his homie on the ground. They pulled his homie Lil Pop out the truck. It definitely looked like he did. Now, rest in peace to Lil Pop if he is passed. If he's not, we hoping he get well. But if if it's accurate that he did pass, condolences to his family and whatever goes on with that. Now, with this whole situation, it was a whole debacle last night. A whole bunch of bloggers, me included, everybody. We was all confused because media outlets was reporting this situation in 15 different versions. It happened in L.A. It happened in Miami. It happened in, like, for a hot second through the course of the night none of us knew where the fuck it really happened there because everybody was reporting it inaccurate you know what i'm saying so reportedly it happened in la Quando is not shot his friend Lil pop got shot now what led up to the shooting we don't know but if you was in cali and this actually happened in california in la you already know what what come with the politics of LA, nigga. You better know somebody. You better tap in with somebody when you come through. Cause if you don't, your ass is out, and the niggas will hawk you down. That's just what go on in LA. That's they that's they temperature in LA, man. If you don't belong to something, if you ain't a part of something, if you ain't moving around California with a factor, you in trouble. And it's been a thing. This been a thing. This been a thing since the 90s. But for some reason, everybody think they just so clouded up that they don't need to go over Cali and take serious measures into making sure they security right. The people they got around them right. Making sure you tap in with them gangs and make sure these niggas look over y'all while y'all in or on the West Coast. Like, Let's go back to that ego shit. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing no check in. Oh, all right, man. Don't check in then. See what the fuck be happening to you, niggas. Because you seen what happened to Pop Smoke, right? The nigga didn't check in, talk about California. He running California. Okay, nigga. Them niggas ran right up in the mansion and ran you down. And in this situation, Quando Rondo got extra lucky because when you sit in the car, you are at odds against the person that's running down on you because you can only... You can only come, you can only dump out the car from certain angles. And when you get dumped on while you in the car, nigga, you more at risk than the nigga you busting at. You see what I'm saying? And I don't expect niggas that ain't never shot at nothing up out no car to understand where I'm coming from. I'm talking to the shooters. Cause a lot of new niggas, if you're not, if you wasn't a shooter, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's almost like a booby trap to be sitting in the car getting shot at. And they had three, three, four shooters shooting at the truck. So, yeah, Quando Rondo is lucky to have escaped that situation without getting 
his noodle took. You see what I'm saying? But he still lost one in the process, man. Quando been going through a lot of shit as of lately. Been beefing with people in his own city. It's a lot of shit been going on around Quando, man. And from the looks of it, this has nothing to do with OTF. I know I said yesterday that you can't put it past that because when when people own you, it don't matter what city you in, especially when you're really outside, because you 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 have affiliations with a lot of people in other cities. But I doubt this was what that was. You know what I'm saying? We know what the atmosphere is in California, man. Them young niggas out there tearing the city up, nigga, they pressing shit. And if you think you ain't the one for, for getting pressed, they will show up to show you that you can be pressed too if you ain't out in California moving right. Never forget, if you're not from California, nigga, you're not at home. So at some point, you might be welcomed by some niggas over here, but you're going to be totally unwelcomed by the rest of the place. We don't know if it was an altercation that sparked this shooting up or not. All I just want to update on the situation because I made a video yesterday and I said Quando got shot and his homie got shot. Quando didn't get shot, but his homie got shot. You see what I'm saying? So condolences to that man, family, little pop. You feel what I'm saying? And and, and hopefully Quando get back in his brain and start moving like he got problems in the streets, man. We know what this occupation of being a rapper comes with. It's dangerous than a motherfucker. And you got to be safe and you got to stay dangerous at the same time because sometimes for you to stay safe, you got to stay dangerous in order to stay safe. Because when danger comes, it don't you don't you don't you don't overcome the danger without being dangerous. You see what I'm saying? So to all the rappers, man. We need y'all to move smarter. We need y'all to do better. We need y'all to think better. Y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, man. Ding the notification bell. Do not leave up about the traps you've been serving. We serving niggas every day, man. It's time for that culture for the streets hosted by Mafia and Pink, man.